Who are you? Himanshu. From? Queens. From? Das Racist. Himanshu, Heems? Who else is in Das Racist? Ashok and Victor, Dap and Kool A D. Cool. I was wondering, were you in a band once called Narwhal? Yeah, I was. What? How did you figure that out? Well, I was thinking Nardwar to Human Serviette, Narwhal. Tell me about being in a band called Narwhal. It was uh, it was me and uh, a Tall Rosen who was in Boy Crisis, another band I was in, and uh, another band I was in called Novices. Um, it was I played. We switched off on drums and guitar. Nardwar to Human Serviette, Narwhal. Thank you. We only had one show, and I don't think any recordings, so I really don't know how you figured <laughs> how you found that one, but that's cool. You guys are Das? Racist. And I find out a lot of interesting things about myself. Like, for instance, Nardwar, Nar... Wah. Narwhal. But also you, Heems. You taught me. And what can you tell the people about the importance? This is for Vancouver. The Komagata Maru. Yeah, this is, this is a ship that came here from Hong Kong with a bunch of Indian people on it. And then they wouldn't let him in the country. So they had to keep him at bay for a while. And then they sent him back. And I think it's amazing that you know the story of the Komogata Maru, Heems. For show. How smart is Heems? Heems is pretty smart. He's pretty crafty, I would say. I would say crafty, clever, and also smart. <laughs> <laughs> because as a writer for the Georgia Strait weekly newspaper here in Vancouver, Mike Usinger point out, not many bands name drop the Komogata Maru in an interview like you did with him. That's really cool, recognizing the local history. Yeah, for show. Like, how many rappers know the Swollen Members and the Komogata? Three. Maru, not many. Three. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Chingy is familiar yeah. with the Komogata Maru and Swollen Members. He actually stopped rapping to be a uh, Komogata name, I believe, is Hugh Johnson. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say Chingy wrote the book on the Komogata Maru, if you will. In the tradition of beef and naming other rap crews, I have a gift for you. For a group, a guy that you want to have beef with. Jin, this is a gift for you. Oh, I don't got no yeah, Jen. Jen is when he's on the rap right. Yeah. I actually read an Ion magazine. If you guys could pick a beef, you'd pick a beef with... I don't remember. Jin, you mentioned Jin, and this is for you, Heems, right. a gift. Cool. <laughs> you gonna learn Chinese. I remember this, Jen. Yeah, what can you tell the people about Jin? Uh, I think that uh, like look at your Timberlands. Your Timberlands are made in China, right? Yeah, that was the one. That was kind of weird. That's kind of like would you? That's not like an insult to me personally, so much as like a an observation about the larger Chinese world. You know, labor, yeah, <laughs> globalization. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I also like when uh, he referred to his genitalia as dumplings and an egg roll in uh, some sort of. I think it was either a rap song or some sort of smack DVD type situation. <laughs> now you, Heems, it goes a bit more, though. It goes right to the firm, doesn't it, Heems? Ah, yeah, I like the firm, man. This is what kick-started the Das Racist, isn't it, Heems? Yeah, the first beat I ever really liked was uh, Affirmative Action um, with Nas and the Firm off of It Was Written. It was the first cassette tape I bought, which was followed immediately by, like... A lot of R and B. I think the uh, the first tape I bought was Nas. The next three were like Mariah Carey, Black Street, and One Twelve. But yeah, the firm. <laughs> the firm and Fiona Apple equals hip hop, real hip hop. That's racist. The love of my life. I'm talking firm biz to you, baby. Firm, firm. Talking about the firm. That is, that is, that is. <laughs> I'm talking firm biz to you, baby. Yeah, yeah. Talking about the firm. That is, that is, that is. That's racist in the house. Uh. <laughs> Yo, man, how'd you how'd you get my fourth grade teacher to come and follow me again? <laughs> That's racist. I have another quote for you. Quote: Listening to and feeling weird. Listening to blank and feeling weird. KMD. Listening to KMD, and I have another gift for you. Uh. That's racist. KMD. Peach fuzz. What can you tell the people the importance of KMD to Das Racist? Uh, these guys, um... Look at the fucking cover of the album. <laughs> I would like to ask you, Das Racist, of the importance of 14th and 6th Avenue. <laughs> what about 14th and 6th, the, the F train? F train? <laughs> what is that? There's an F train stop there. I thought that's ground zero for Taco... Oh, oh that's not that close to the fifth avenue though. Isn't that like the ground zero for the Taco Bell? Like your song combination. Oh, it's 
Yeah, I was. Ours was more about the one in Jamaica and Queens, but I guess there is one on 14th and 6th. I think in an interview one time, I said like the one that I have eaten at the most is probably that one or something. Oh. That was like a long time ago when we even bothered to entertain questions about that song. Okay. <laughs> well, I was going to say right next door to it is a Dunkin' Donuts, isn't there? Yeah. And what's really wild is I first heard of Das Racist on the show. At a Dunkin' Donuts? No, on the show Dunkin's Donuts. He's a DJ in Vancouver. Uh, yeah, he does a show in Vancouver called Dunkin's Donuts. This guy, Duncan, Duncan McHugh, and he played you guys, and that's who I first heard of you guys. Wow. And the weird thing is, he saw you at South by Southwest. He was yelling out for you to play that song, and you guys played the Taco Bell combination Pizza Hut song, but you didn't mention Pizza Hut. What did you mention? Dunkin' Robin, Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin Donuts. And Baskin Robbins. But Dunkin' Donuts was just the name of the show. Yeah, Dunkin's Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, 14th and 6th, full circle, baby. Uh, cool. Could you please tell me about 290? 290. Isn't that what it costs for you to live? 290 a month? How so cheap? Oh, it's five people. He lives in the house too. He pretty much sleeps on the couch, so. Uh, ha 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 ha. <laughs> I live on the couch and with my moms. Uh, it's five people in a four bedroom. Um, the four bedroom is in a bad place, and it's you know like it's the only house on the thing. We're next to like a place that fixes cars and some other shit. That's racist. I have another quote for you. Shorty said, "I look just like." There's a bunch of sh yeah. stuff in that song. <laughs> the E. I look just like Shorty said. I look just like the oh Egyptian lover. Yeah. The Egyptian lover. Dude, awesome. What can you tell the people about that throwdown? The Egyptian lover. You guys giving props to the Egyptian lover and oh, Snow. This we love right here. It's called the Big Payback, and in it, it's about the history of business and rap, and they're talking about Makala Records. Uh, which was uh, like just a guy who pressed up records and, and like let people, artists, in, in, independently distribute them, which kind of like set off like LA rap, at least a lot of it. And uh, whatever, I think his name is Broussard. It was the Egyptian lover, and he was one of the very big early artists on that, on that label, before the Reckon Crew, which is what Dr. J was in before uh, NWA. And you are Das Racist, not the fake Das Racist. Yeah, we're the fake Das Racist. Who's the fake Das Racist? <laughs> Uh, we met him one time actually in New York. Some white dude. <laughs> He's a white dude wearing a flannel shirt. On. He's like a white dude. <laughs> <laughs> Not Diplo. He was behind the decks, wasn't he? No, he was just holding a T-shirt. I thought he was behind the decks. He was behind the decks holding up a T-shirt. <laughs> Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Hi. Hi. I'm a baby. I have a baby. You're a baby, Dad? Yeah. You're a baby? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, man. Well, thanks so much, Das Racist. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do. Do do. Shaking them up, baking them up, waking them up, I'm first in the month.